Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I see an orange in front of me. Nonapina, is that an orange? Yeah. That's an orange. And why are we looking at an orange? Because this orange symbolizes another thing that we make in Sicily, which is called arancini. Arancini are uh, rice balls. And you see this package here. Like, there's different shapes of rice balls. And in Sicily, the reason they have different shapes of rice balls is to identify what is inside the rice ball. So this neat little aranginotto is actually from Pacino, the hometown uh, of my father, and it is a die, it's a stamp. So you would fill this with rice and you'll see what we do here, but this is uh, one way of creating an arancini, a rice ball, which is stuffed. Um, and once again, it comes from uh, the word orange because at the end of the day, many arancini are round like an orange. So, and they look like an orange once uh, once they're done. So, Nonna Pina, today we're gonna make arancini, Sicilian yeah. style. I think arancini only come from Sicily. That's the native part of uh, arancini. And what is happening and how do we make arancini? So I see rice, Nonna Pina. What you did here was you boiled rice and you, any type of particular rice this is? What kind of rice is this? Che tipo di riso è questo? Ma? Okay, so this is uh, an Italian rice. She's gonna show us the rice. Doesn't matter. You can use arborio rice, which is a risotto type rice, or an Italian short grain rice will work perfectly fine. And what we're gonna fill the rice ball with is this little concoction here with some mozzarella cheese. So let's explain this. Nona, can you show us how thick that is? Okay, so on this episode, we're not gonna make this, uh, we're not gonna film the making of this, but this is very easy to make. What did you put in this, Nona Pina? How did you make this, this ragu here? Meat. Okay, so ground beef? Yeah. Just beef or pork? No, no. Ground beef? Yeah. Okay, so some ground beef? Abzella. Uh, frozen peas, yeah? Yeah. And? A salsa. And a little bit of sauce. And you don't want to make it too saucy, right? No, 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 If it's no. too liquid, this is not going to work. So this is nice and thick. No, 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 can you show us how thick that is? Okay, so cook uh, a little bit of sauce with some ground beef. And add some peas. Look how thick that is. That's what you want. And then obviously it has to cool down before you can work with anything. The rice is totally cooled down. Um, depending on how many rice balls you want to make, the, you're going to make more rice. But over here, Nona Pina, what did you make? Three, four cups of rice? How much rice did you put? Six, uh, 600 grams. 600 grams of rice you yeah. used here. Okay. Three and, eggs. Yeah, we're going to get to that. And then you let it totally cool. Okay, Nona Pina. So... Uh, the eggs are going to go in the rice, so you got three eggs that are going to go in the 600 grams of rice. And then you're going to add some uh, tomato sauce into the rice just to give it color, but not too much, right? Yeah. Okay, this is going to be good. I'm looking really forward to uh, the arancini. Three eggs, you've put a, it was like three or four tablespoons of sauce, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it on film, but we've got, we've got a nice little tinge, uh, tinge in color here. Some Sicilian recipes call for saffron, um, and that's a beautiful uh, thing to actually add, but Nona Pina likes to put some of her homemade tomato sauce for the color. Okay, Nona Pina, what are you gonna do next? What are you gonna do next? Hey, um, gonna... uh, okay, so let's make one by hand. And then, Nona Pina, there's water there for you. Pepe, pepe mano, ma. Okay, why are you putting water, Nona Pina? Che ci mette l'acqua nei mano? Per no stick. Okay, so it doesn't stick. Si. Okay, so you've got it in your hand. You're making a little, a little hole. Okay. Yeah. You're adding just a tablespoon in there, so not much. And you're adding metachirurgima. And you're adding three cubes of mozzarella. Then you're gonna kind of cover it, make a lid. So that hidden inside this secret Sicilian treasure is just a bunch of love and goodness. 
and we thank uh, the farmers who raised the animals and uh, who grew the peas and everybody that participated uh, in the fields that picked this rice uh, to give us this beautiful Sicilian dish here. Okay, Nanapin, let's see now. You're making a beautiful ball. Okay, turn it around, let's see this whole ball. Okay, Nanapin, hold that. I still see a pea, Nanapin. I don't like that pea there. You have to cover that. Come on, we're doing a TV show here. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, go back to the bottom. Nice. Now, Nonapina, hold it up like this. Then Rakusima. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We have that. And we got that. Arancini, which is the word orange. <laughs> okay, Nonapina, now what are you going to do? Put it in bread. Okay, you're going to coat it in bread. Yeah. Now, some people dip this in egg. You don't, Nonapina, right? No. You don't dip the whole rice ball in an egg bath. Why not? You just never do. Okay. And then, Nonapina, what are you going to do? You're gonna make a, you're gonna make a whole bunch of these, and then we're gonna deep fry them, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's make a whole bunch. But first, before we go and make the whole bunch, Nonapina, can you show these lovely people making the arancini with the aranginotto tool here? This die. So why don't you take this, Nonapina, and make it with the die? And this is going to be a different shape. It's a coned shape uh, arancini. And as I said earlier in the uh, in this episode, the reason uh, we have different shapes is to identify what's inside because some people might not like meat inside. Some might just want vegetables. Some might want meat but no cheese. So in Sicily, no, no, Pina, slow down, slow down. So in Sicily, uh, they make different shapes to identify what's inside. So you filled that three quarters of the way with this cute little dye. Now what are you gonna do? You put the little cover on, okay? Okay, so that what that's doing is it's making the the little cavity to be able to accept the meat. Okay, take that off, Nonapina. Let's see. Nice. Okay. Wow, that's a deep cavity. So with this uh, version here, you're going to use a little bit more, I think, uh, meat and cheese to fill that crevice. So there's just going to be a little bit more love in the, in the cone-shaped ones. So if you're ever in Italy and you see a cone-shaped one in Sicily, get those ones because it looks like you fill some more uh, filling in those uh, shapes. Okay, so you're covering it. Yeah. I see. Okay, so you fill it to the top and then that, and then you're just you're you're making the scene on the pina. Move your hand on the pina. Okay, now you turn it over. Okay. Let's see. Holy cow, well, that looks like a bundle of love. Okay, Nonapina, let's put it into the thing now. The thing, well, the breadcrumbs. Okay. And those are two variations of how to form and stuff the arangini. So we got the round type, which comes from the native word uh, arangini, and then we've got uh, the cone, the cone type. Let's, let's just a nice look at that. The nice cone. Okay. Let's make the rest of the nonna pina. Okay, nonna pina, so we're almost done here. You've done quite a bit. You've got some there. You've got a few over here. We got the
it's the beauty. Oh my my. So there's the meat. There's the cheese, the peas, the stuffing. Put it down on the peanut. Thank you so much, Nona Pina. Say bye to these beautiful people. Bye. All right.